taille est à pâte. Barua est au dur. Comme il est à papo, il est au moins de la chine Il est à pâte, il est au moins de la chine 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 de wanauza kama 6 dollars on average wakati wa wakati wa tai ya Kenya iko kama 2 to 2.5 dollars on average so ukiongeza ukiongeza packaging ukiongeza value cha itakuwa na na bei in the, at this place we've seen um, the different types of teas now we are able to assess what it is we can do in our area we have also seen how uh, we have also heard how they are doing the international marketing and uh, we are very, very encouraged to know that the international market for specialty tea is very, very big and, and that uh, we can go into it with full confidence that it will bring the benefits that we very much uh, desire for the farmers in our area. We've been training farmers in different homes and, and engaging young people and we are very, very happy to say that it is only it is not only that they are taking an interest in it is that also they are gain, getting the skills very very fast so we see it as a, as an area of bringing in young people who otherwise would not have been interested in the tea business so uh, but of course the possibility that it's going to to increase incomes it is going to raise incomes for rural families for farm families at a very very high uh, level we are very, very encouraged by that. Tugependa pia menu ya upande ya majani chai. Iwe na chai aina mbali mbali. So, siku ya leo ni ile siku ya kuita wana hotelia, kuhonyesha aina na jinsi mbali mbali, nambavyo wanaeza tumia chai kwa menu yao. Hapa tuko na KTDA, tuko na private producers wengi, wenye viwanda, na wote tunashirikiana kwa pamoja. Uh, tuseme, Focus yetu yote ni mkulima wa majani chai. KTDA, private factory kama yangu, ya muenzangu, nini, nini. Wote tunatukukia wakulima wa Kenya. So you can use tea for various things, not only just as a beverage. It's, um, it has different flavor profiles. Kenya has amazing teas from black, green, oolong, purple, white. They all have different flavor profiles. They can be infused with different herbs, spices, and that's what we do currently. There's a big demand for this now because people are realizing that teas have different types of taste profiles. The caffeine content is a little lower. It has a good um, effect on the mind and the body when people drink it. So I think there's a lot more for people to explore into Kenyan tea apart from just black tea.